Sarah Wilson. I work with the adult ed ministry here and small groups as well as assist with the pastoral care team. In our continuing series, focusing on biblical figures represented in the pairs of our door pulls at Woods, we move just left from the center doors to Sarah and Abraham. This childless husband and wife exhibit extraordinary faith and obedience to God's direction and so become the roots of Israel's family tree. In a culture where family and the land they lived on were everything, Abram and Sarai, as they were known then, followed God's direction to leave home, land, relatives, and safety, and go to a place completely foreign to them. God's request effectively severed the roots that they had established and left them without a safety net, foreigners in a foreign land, with only the benevolence of God to hold fast to. They did not know where they would go and what might happen, yet they faithfully followed the path that God had ordained for them. In the sculpture of Sarah, we see the angel on her shoulder announcing that she would become pregnant and in turn be a mother of nations. Her response was understandably human here, incredulity and laughter. In fact, her son would be named Isaac, which in Hebrew means he laughed. Filled with bewilderment, awe, almost daring not to believe, bearing a child, her primary role in society, would validate her worth as a wife and enable Abraham's lineage to continue. Imagine the joy felt by Sarah and Abraham. Their fortunes were reversed in an instant, in an unlikely turn of events. Despite Sarah's initial understandable reflex of disbelief, they continued to trust in God's promises and to follow the path that God set before them. As we learn in the continuing saga in Genesis, God's path leads to Moriah, where God had commanded Abraham to sacrifice his long-awaited son, Isaac, as a burnt offering. Can you imagine the extraordinary pain that Sarah and Abraham felt after the highest of highs welcoming a healthy son and heir in their old age, only for that miracle child to be taken from them, offered as a sacrifice to the God who had blessed them so. And yet, their trust and obeisance to God was so great that they did as God demanded. Abraham took his son to be sacrificed by his own hand. It is that depth of pain and sorrow that we see in Abraham's rendering. He's carrying, sculpted, carrying the wood fuel required for Isaac's sacrifice. What a journey that must have been. From consummate joy to devastating sorrow. And for Sarah, left behind imagining how to live with the loss of her child. And yet, the path that God laid before Abraham did not lead to Isaac's death. God saw the extraordinary faith that Abraham displayed, having placed God's wishes above his own. Isaac was spared from devastating sorrow to consummate joy. As we continue the Advent Vigil, we await the coming of Emmanuel, God with us. Like Abraham and Sarah, we do not know where we will be led by God. In a world filled with ups and downs, joys and sorrows, we lean toward the sheltered, well-traveled route, preferring the safety of what we know rather than trusting in God's future for us. The path ahead of us may be challenging, but we can aspire to the faithfulness of Abraham and Sarah, knowing that God is with us always.